Hello, today I'm going to talk about how to repair stereos that have a CD player door that opens and closes like that or a DVD player or a tape deck or anything with a door or a tray that opens and closes and the unit itself, the stereo or whatever it is you're working with has to detect when that door is open or closed. It's a really easy repair. You need a Phillips screwdriver and a little tiny piece of sandpaper and that's all you need. Now this radio is a Centrios radio model 1315117 sold by the source. It's actually an internet radio so it's got a network port and you can get a wireless USB adapter for it. And uh, it was uh, it was pretty inexpensive, uh, I think 250 regular price but I bought it on sale for 99 bucks. Two common types of, uh, of sensors that detect when the door is open and closed. One would be an infrared sensor and let's use this as an example. This would be my transmitter and it sends the infrared signal out and my thumb would be the receiver and the light passes between the space uh, in the space between my two fingers and if the receiver receives the infrared light the receiver knows there's nothing in between my thumb and my finger if there's something in between the two like this board and the light cannot pass then the sensor is saying hey there's something interrupting the flow of infrared light and therefore the door must be open or closed however the configuration is for that uh, sensor so with this type of sensor they're, they're probably pretty reliable um, the only thing that i think could be go, that could go wrong and can be easily fixed is if either the sensor uh, the transmitter or the receiver are dirty and in that case you'd want to take some alcohol on a on a tissue paper and and uh, non-lint tissue paper and rub the transmitter and the receiver just gently and clean them off and actually I'd try compressed air first and if that doesn't work then you try cleaning it with a little bit of alcohol and uh, that's basically the uh, easiest um, way you'll be able to get that working if it's beyond that well it's a more involved repair the second type of, of sensor that's actually in this radio is an electrical contact switch so it's mechanical it moves when the door opens and closes when the door is open in this case the switch is like that with infinite resistance if these uh, my thumb and finger are the contacts and when the door closes something pushes on one of the contacts makes them come together and then there's zero ohms resistance between them the problem i was happen having was even when the door was shut and there's supposed to be zero ohms resistance there sometimes the microcontroller was detecting that the door was open so this particular stereo has several screws all around the perimeter on the sides and the back and the bottom and the screws have an arrow pointing to them and generally that some of the screws not all of them like here's a screw that doesn't have an arrow pointing to it but generally screws that have an arrow pointing to them in a piece of electronics those are the ones that need to come out in order to disassemble this uh, piece of electronics so i took all of those screws out thinking that was required to get the top off where the cd player is cd player is right here get the top off i thought you'd take them all out wrong i thought i only needed to take out the two in the back which did have an arrow pointing to them but anyway it's just the two in the back of this radio and uh, so after taking those two screws out the CD player will just lift out so it just lifts up and then the whole thing slides out like that see that little tab there there's one up there they fit in little hole right in there and on the other side so they just fit in that track and I'm gonna actually turn this on its sides so that... and so there is the sensor oh, sorry folks hang on okay so there is the sensor now it's in the closed position and as I open the door now it's opened so I'm closing the door I'm opening the door closing the door opening the door so you can see how those electronic contacts are supposed to touch and they were touching but something was happening to cause their resistance to not be zero so what i did is i took a little piece of sandpaper like this and finer grit the better you really you're not trying to grind away anything you're just trying to clean these contacts be very careful with them i'll zoom out in a second when i get this in place so then i took the sandpaper and i stuck it between the contacts and now that the sandpaper is there, there's a little bit of pressure on them because of the con or force on them because of the contact. I just took the sandpaper and I dragged it out like this. Right, so I dragged it out, and then I opened the contacts, 
And then I turn the sandpaper around the other way. And after doing that, and th then you close the door again and you can drag the sandpaper out. And it basically just cleans the contacts ever so slightly. And now when you shut the door, come on, there, when you shut the door, the contacts are closed, but electrically they look closed. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this thing, fit it back in this little slot, fit the front end in the slots and the back end right here. The back doesn't want to go. The back doesn't want to go in. See those white tabs? They have to go in. It doesn't want to go in. But I just grab onto this part here, pull it out, and that just dropped right in. And then you put these two screws in place, and you're good. That's all there is to it. So it should have taken you a lot longer to watch this video than to actually do the repair. Good luck with your do-it-yourself project.